What's up, guys? My name is Hypeco. Welcome back to the Hypers channel on the internet. Tonight, we are doing something absolutely insane, and yes, it does involve this infamous Dippic box. If you can't already tell by the title, we are going to be attempting to do the shoe box ritual or telephone ritual with this box right here. Yes, I know some of you are probably already in the comment section below like, why, why Hype Mike, why would you do this? And I know a lot of other people are probably going to be like, holy crap, this is going to be absolutely insane. I'm probably already liking the video before it even started. But I am trying to do this video because I am trying to communicate with whatever demon lies within this box. I've done many videos with this box before in the past and every time this has happened, there's some kind of demon or devil attached to this box that always shows up every time I do rituals with this box. And I'm sure this ritual isn't going to be any different, but I'm hoping by communicating with whatever demon is inside this box, I can make amends with this thing and maybe this thing will stop haunting me or haunt our house. This thing has been doing a lot of weird things around the house recently and it has got to come to an end and hopefully we can fix this tonight. But before we do get into that guys, I do want to remind you to subscribe to the channel if you're new as well as hit that join button if you do want to support the channel as much as you can. It really does help me out. But with all this being said guys, let's see what the shoebox ritual and the debit box has in store for us tonight. Alright guys, as you can see, it is currently 1.05 in the morning. We are currently not in the devil's hour because this is a ritual that we do before we try to go to sleep. And I am actually very, very tired, so I figured I'm going to do this ritual right now before I go to bed so that the ritual actually works. Now the purpose of the original ritual is to speak to the dead, so we are going to need a power object in order for this ritual to work. Now luckily for me, I've already opened this box before and there are a bunch of items inside that are left in there that I could potentially use as the power object. If you guys haven't seen me open this box before, I will leave a link right here for you guys to click on. It will lead you to a video where me, Graphnix, and Jester open this box together and it was absolutely insane. But I'm going to pick out one of the items in the box right now. So I'm going to pick this item that I found in the box because it is small enough for me to wrap around a string and tie it to this thing to use this as the power object. There are a couple of other things in this box that I could use, but if you guys do want to see that, make sure you do click on the video where we did unbox the Dibbic box. Now that's not the only thing that we're going to need for this ritual, obviously. There are a few other things that I will list right now. First thing is a plastic cup. This is what we're going to use to communicate with the demon that is in this box, as well as hear whatever it wants to say to me. Second thing is we're going to need a piece of paper as well as a pen. We're going to write a letter to the demon in the box. Now the reason we write a letter to the demon within the box is because we are trying to convince the demon in here to try to talk back to me or give him a reason why he should talk back to me. Third thing we need is a long piece of string that we're going to attach to the cup as well as the power object. And that is literally all we need. It is a very, very easy thing to do. You could probably do this at home if you really wanted to, but I would not recommend it because sometimes these things could be very, very dangerous. So leave it to me to show you that this thing potentially works. I know I'm doing it for a demon box, but I'm doing this for your entertainment only. So I forgot to mention that we do need a phone booth to complete this ritual. In the instructions, it does state that a closet is preferred to use as a phone booth. And a phone booth is basically a place where you're gonna put the box in or the shoe box into the closet and that is where you're going to close the door and hope for the ritual to complete itself. I know all of this is very, very confusing, but it's all going to make sense when you see me do it firsthand. Okay, so now it's time to actually start writing our letter. And now it says here that I'm just supposed to write out a letter off the top of my head and I'm just supposed to let the words flow out of my mind as I write on the paper. I'm not allowed to cross out any words and I'm supposed to leave all mistakes. So I'm just going to do this really quick and I'm just going to show you what I've written down in a couple of seconds. All right, guys, I don't know if you can see that well, but here is my letter. If you guys do want to pause it, you can just read that if you want. But I'm going to have to read this out loud to the demon once I set up the shoebox ritual. With the letter completed, it is time to tie the rope to the power object. I don't think that's coming off, guys. It seems to be pretty tight on there. So now with that done, it is time to set up our telephone. To do this, all we need to do is poke a hole in the bottom of the cup. Safety first guys, don't try this at home. Um, this is, I'm probably gonna cut myself right here. That actually worked a lot better than I expected guys. Let's see that. Now with the hole in place, we are gonna try to shove this into the end right here. This is gonna be a little tricky because this is pretty poorly. So if 
just like this and just shove it in there. It's gonna be a lot harder than I thought. There we go guys, I finally got it in there. Now with this inside the cup, it is time to thread a knot on this side so that it doesn't go back into the cup. And there you go. That should be it guys, that should be enough. We have the knot on that side. Just pull like that, it shouldn't come out. We have our telephone cord, as well as handheld telephone that we could talk into, as well as here, whatever's on the inside, AKA whatever's inside the Divic box. Now with our telephone tied to our power object, it is time to chant the letter to the power object before we put the letter and the power object inside of the Divic box. So I'm supposed to read this letter into this cup, every mistake and everything, in hopes that the message is passed along to the demon inside. All right guys, this is my letter. Hello demon that hides inside this box. I am writing to you in hopes to make amends with you. We have met each other on several occasions. However, every time has been a little hectic to say the least. I know we have some kind of connection, you and I. I knew the day I entered the basement and found your box. I just hope we could finally talk and possibly answer some questions I've been having. I hope that you get back to me soon. That was my letter guys. So now I put this power object in the box as well as my letter and then try to seal the box as best I can. So this. That's as far as it's gonna go, guys. Now with this done, it is time to put our box inside of the closet or phone booth. When we are putting the box in the phone booth, it is important to know that you need to put the cup on top of the box, as well as set a pair of scissors aside. And just like that, guys, we are complete. So it took me about 50 minutes to completely do all of that stuff, as well as record the whole thing. As you can see, guys, it is currently 1.54 in the morning on January 3rd, 2019. Now the reason I mention that is because the ritual might not actually happen until a few days after tonight. The shoebox is going to try to call me within my dreams. It might not happen tonight, it might not happen in a few days. I will likely upload the video a few days after I do get the call, but until then, I have to go to sleep, and every time I do dream, I'm looking for a phone call and that is supposed to wake me up in the middle of the night and that is when I can go to the phone booth and talk to the demon inside of the box. Now there are a couple things I should know when I do answer the call. When I do open the phone booth and I see the cup either on the ground or the box fully open, that is a sign that some bad things are going to happen and the instructions do state that I need to cut the cord immediately and toss everything in the garbage. Obviously if this does happen, I'm probably not going to do that and I'm going to be really really stupid and go into the phone booth anyways and try to communicate communicate with whatever is in the box because I do want to try to talk to it and I do want to show you guys if this actually works or not. But until then, I'm going to be going to sleep every night with my camera by my side in case I do wake up from a nightmare or a call in my dreams. downstairs and I got a call on my phone and it was some kind of like weird number and then I came upstairs to answer the call and then something broke into my room and attacked me I think it had like it had like red eyes and it had like a uh, I don't know if I'm describing the demon from the dick box but I don't know what the hell just happened in my room like it's literally trashed I did not leave it like this when I went to sleep guys I think, hold on, let me turn this on, okay. I think it might be time to answer the call and go into the phone booth. I wasn't expecting to do this video tonight. I'm really, really tired, but obviously I had this nightmare for a reason, and it's time for me to go in there. I'm just, I'm just quickly, Jesus, close this. I don't want anything coming in when I'm doing this. I'm just gonna keep that on. Look inside uh, like literally this was closed when I went to bed like I always keep my closet closed but let's see if the cup is still 
Oh no, guys, what the hell? What the freak? Guys, that is really bad. That is really bad. When that happens, I'm supposed to cut the cord, but... I don't know if I can get rid of this box just yet. I have a few more videos that I do want to do with it, but like, holy crap, this is not good at all, guys. What the freak? Do I... Do I go in there? Oh my god. I'm freaking out, guys. Guys, if I do go in there, I need to go down below and subscribe to the channel because I do this kind of crazy stuff all the time. Show me some love in the comment section. Let's just go inside and see. Okay. I'm just gonna move this over here. Okay. I'm sorry, scissors, you're not gonna be used for this. Okay. So I'm supposed to listen to whatever is on the inside and hopefully we could try to capture something talking to me. Okay. So apparently I'm supposed to hear something coming from inside and it's supposed to be very, very distinct and very like, not, not distinct, but more like subtle. So I'm, I'm gonna try to listen and see if I can hear anything and if it's loud enough, I'm gonna put it to the camera. Okay. I'm supposed to focus as well. me out guys um hello uh i'm i'm mike uh you probably know who i am um i just want to ask you a few questions is that okay guys this is in english what is this hello oh, oh, oh my god what the freak no, 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 no. get that away from me No, 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 I'm not going with that. Oh my god, what the hell? That box is... Oh! What the is doing that? What the frig? What is going on right now? Oh my god. literally what 3:55 in the morning woke up in the middle of the night shat my pants in the closet and now i'm in the washroom hiding from some kind of devil or demon that came from that very same closet but huge shout out to all of you who came all the way to the end of the video if anything does happen i'm gonna turn my camera back on but until then thank you so much for all of you for making it to the end of the video subscribe to the channel if you're new and until the next ritual guys peace